Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for clicking on today's video and tuning in. It is a cold, cold day here in Texas. We do not get this kind of cold, especially for this amount of time. So it's a, it's a good time for me to get out. This is the second day in a row I've gotten to wear my wool Boreal shirt. So last year I only got to wear it once, if that tells you anything about our weather here. So I'm uh, headed into the woods to find a little spot to set up camp for the day just to kind of get out, getting out and about. And I love when the cold sets in, everything kind of calms down. We don't have any snow, but it's kind of the same feeling that you get whenever it snows. Uh, I'm, I want to share with you a new product that I bought myself for Christmas this year. Uh, it's a Pathfinder stainless steel kettle. And I just kind of want to go over some of its features, some pros and cons to it from what I've seen and, uh, and put it on a fire for the first time today. So come join me on this cold day and uh, let's get around the fire. Alright, so what I have here is the stainless steel Pathfinder kettle on Self Reliance Outfitters website. Uh, I haven't put this on a fire yet. I've only used it uh, in, in the house making chaga tea and whatnot. Just real quick, I wanted to go over uh, some of the features and some things that make it unique compared to other kettles that I have or that I've used. And, uh, and then also some of the things that or just my opinion that they might, they might could do to improve it. First off, uh, the size of this kettle is just perfect. It, it actually holds a lot more water than what you would expect uh, by just looking at it. It's uh, a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand. It comes with a really nice lid with a nice stiff D-ring that doesn't flop all over the place. That's something I really like about it. It actually comes with two handles that are also nice and stiff to where it really gives it a really nice balance point to whenever you're pouring. And, or you can just use one handle uh, to pick it up. So that's really nice. And uh, they've broken in a little bit. When you first get it, it'll be pretty stiff, but they do break in. And then the one of the features that really intrigued me about this is the mesh screen that it comes with. So this just sits right in the top of the kettle. There's a lot that you could do with this. When you really start to think about it, that's what intrigued me the most was, you know, this is a, this is almost like a, a basket that you would put in a big pot. So you could even boil uh, a small amount of vegetables in this. Maybe if you had some uh, crawfish, you could boil it in here. So the mesh green is really handy, really nice. Uh, I'll get a close up as to what how far it sits down in the kettle. And then I'll also show you uh, the other unique feature that intrigued me about this is the spout. The good thing about this is, like I said, the size, and uh, it serves a unique purpose in the sense that we all enjoy uh, hot drinks, even even whenever it's not necessarily cold outside. There's nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning, so that fills a need here with uh, with that. And the size of this, it's also big enough to use as a uh, an actual cooking container because this screen does remove. You can boil water in here or cook food in here. Uh, it is actually big enough that you can use, especially the uh, long handle titanium spoons or whatever, 
and you could eat out of this if you wanted to. It'd be a little bit more inconvenient than an actual pot, but that is a possibility. But even though I haven't put this on a fire yet, I have already ran into some issues, at least for me and what I was expecting out of it. So my number one issue is, and it's, it's the big reason why I got this, is we've all made cowboy coffee before where you just heat up your pot and uh, put your water in there and heat up your water and heat up your pot and you dump your coffee grounds in there and for the majority of the time it, they settle to the bottom so whenever you're pouring uh, you don't get as many coffee grounds but you do get some in there and it's not a big deal but it's also you know somewhat frustrating because you can make your cup of coffee at home and because of your filter or if you have a mesh screen like this and your coffee filter at home, you don't get coffee grounds in your coffee. When I saw that this had come out, I was really excited. Like, man, I can uh, have a kettle, a really nice kettle, and I've got a screen now. I can dump fresh ground coffee that I, I brought with me from home. I don't have to do instant coffee, and I can really make a good pot of coffee. Well, the thing that's disappointed me most is the gauge on this screen it's not tight enough for most of your typical ground coffee that you would buy in a store. Um, I haven't had a chance to use coarse ground coffee, which we've, my wife and I have used that before at home. And so I don't know if that would uh, work better with this or not, but I can tell you, unless you buy specific coarse ground coffee, most of the coffee that you buy in bags or in, uh, or in buckets or uh, containers, Folgers, all of that, will fall through this screen. You can pour it on there and give it a few shakes and it falls right through it. So you can imagine what happens, and I, and I did it at home, so I'm not gonna be doing it here in the woods, but you can imagine what happens whenever you've got a rolling boil and that water stirring up those coffee grounds, they just fall straight through it. So that's a really big disappointment. I, I thought that this screen would be tighter woven like what my, my filter is at home and my coffee maker uh, to not allow those grinds to fall through. Now the second uh, critique I have about this is the depth that this screen goes. I showed you that close up here. Unless you're wanting to make an ample amount of coffee, uh, for sure um, you're drinking at least three or four cups. If not, you know, you're making it for two people. Your Your coffee grounds will never get to release the oils and make the coffee because this screen it sits so shallow you've got to fill this kettle up almost full for those grounds to ever even get uh, stirred up by the boiling water so you know maybe a quarter of this is enough for one cup of coffee which you know I'm not I, I don't like making a whole bunch of coffee and then having to pour it out that's a waste of coffee so i normally only make when i'm on these little trips or day hikes or whatever unless i'm with a group of people i normally only make one cup of coffee and putting that much water in there for one cup those grounds will never get wet and you'll never your, your coffee will never be made so those are two things that uh i've noticed right off the bat now as far as uh chaga or anything that you don't necessarily need the screen for you can dump pieces of chaga in here make chaga tea all day and it's amazing uh the the gauge up here on the spout doesn't allow any of the small pieces of chaga that might break off when the water's boiling it doesn't allow any of those pieces to pour through into your cup so that's really good and uh you know it, it'll make it'll make as strong a chaga as what you want but those are just the two things i've noticed right off the bat but i want to put this on a on a fire and get it blackened and see about the seam down here at the bottom if it weeps any and uh and just make make some regular instant coffee today i want to i want to say that these are just preferences that that i had um i did watch dave's video whenever he talked about the release of the uh of the kettle and he did mention you know thicker grounds or uh, more coarse grounds i just figured that for most people when you go to the store and you get coffee folgers or community house or whatever community coffee uh maxwell house community coffee most people are going to buy just the, the standard stuff and i was just wanting to point out that those standard grounds will not fit through here now if you were to go and and either grind your own coffee or go to stores that have the uh, availability to grind coffee and do uh coarser grounds for like a french press then you could you could easily you know use this for your coffee but 
uh, most coffee off the shelf will fall through this and it'll it'll end up in the bottom of your pot so just wanted to point that out it's not it's not a it's not anything that's going to keep me from using it because it's a really nice little kettle and uh, like I said it's got multiple purposes and Today, just gonna use a lighter. No shame in that, you know. thing is ripping and roaring you can hear it hissing probably gonna take a little bit for it to cool off which is fine and I'll just keep this little stove going now just kind of use it to warm me up a little bit while I'm drinking coffee this little uh, this little case is awesome I'm gonna really like this so what I have for coffee today is uh, I got a little I keep a little coffee pouch with me in the bag so I just put the uh, the kettle in this Badger Claw Leatherworks wax canvas bag. And then I just set this little Sammy style pouch on top of it. It's wax canvas also. And what we'll do for coffee is we'll do some Starbucks Via. And then if you're at a liquor store, you can get the little, uh, the small liquor bottles, like the little single shots or whatever. I found this little small mason jar. It was a type of rum. I just went ahead and put some half and half some uh, sugar-free salted caramel flavoring mixed it up in this little mason jar so i don't drink my coffee black <laughs> i've tried to but yeah we'll just put this in here if you put it in first it helps mix it better we'll do two because we want to get jacked up today get that good caffeine buzz going you know warm us up so you can see pours really evenly really easy and like I said if you're making chaga or anything that strainer on the spout is really handy give us a shake and this is actually pretty cold it's been in my pack so it'll actually help cool down the coffee too pretty happy with this I thought that was pretty smart you know you could even use this for spices or something give it a little taste oh yeah that's good cheers well I uh, just finished my cup of coffee and there wasn't any seeping or any uh, anything here on the bottom edge and it, it works fine I mean it, it heats up water pretty quickly and with it being stainless steel uh, it also doesn't take too too long to cool off like I said just keep in mind those two little things those two little critiques that that I pointed out with this with the mesh screen you're gonna need 
coarser ground coffee. You're also going to need to fill up your pot to a certain level that's going to definitely be more than just one cup of coffee. I filled it up to maybe a quarter of the way just now, and uh, that gave me almost a full uh, heavy cover canteen cup of coffee. So if that if that helps with any kind of measurements, but yeah, it's awesome. It doesn't uh, it doesn't weigh a lot. It it actually holds a good amount of water. Just wanted to go over this and uh, and get this on the fire for the first time and uh, share my thoughts with it. So definitely something I'm happy to have, and uh, definitely something that you know I'm going to be carrying in my kit to uh, to make my coffee and, and whatnot in. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, get outside and enjoy the woods.